here I have another question from the geometry it's related to the circle and specially based on the concept of chord uh, PQ is a chord of length 8 cm of a circle of radius a, uh, of radius 5 cm so we have a circle whose radius is 5 cm here as you see these are 5 cm and we have a chord PQ this is the, our chord PQ all right this PQ is of 8 cm all right this complete length is 8 cm the tangents P and Q intersect at point T. It means from an external point T, we are drawing two tangents T, P and T, Q. Okay. As on in the figure, find the length of T, P. So we need to find out what is the length of this tangent. Either you find out T, P or you find out T, Q. Both are equal. All right. Because we had already learned that from an external point, uh, whenever you draw a tangent, whenever you draw two tangents, actually the total possible tangents are two. Those both tangents are equal. All right. So uh, to solve this question, I need to first make you understood a little bit with chord. What is chord? Okay. So see, what is chord? Uh, in a circle, all right. If you have any circle, and then any any two point joining, two point of the circumference joining line is called chord. So here, this line is called chord. So any two point, you know, let's say the here is one point, here is one point. So this is called chord. Okay. So just these all are chord. You know, these all are chord because th these all lines are cutting two points of this circumference and the biggest chord is the diameter all right so this this is the biggest chord the longest chord in a circle is the diameter keep in mind that and one more concept you need to understand here if this is the center and from the center okay let's first draw a chord let's say this is a chord from the center if you uh, if you if you draw the perpendicular on the chord then that divides the chord into exactly two equal halves all right keep in mind that from the from the uh, from the center you know if you draw the perpendicular on the chord you'll get the two uh, equal sections i mean i mean i mean to say this part and this part will be equal all right keep in mind that and vice versa i mean uh, i mean if these two are equal then this must be perpendicular all right keep in mind that and uh, generally, you know, uh, when you were when you were anywhere, you go, if you see the chords, if you see anywhere chords, and if you connect with that center, then you have to understand at the center. If you're connecting, then you have to understand it's perpendicular. All right. This concept is going to be applied here in this question. All right. PQ is a chord of length eight centimeters. So we have this is eight centimeter, and uh, now definitely this is perpendicular. So if this is perpendicular, this is going to be bisected. I mean, I mean. Uh, this particular length this is this particular pr is four centimeter all right this is four centimeter and similarly qr is also four centimeter this is also four centimeter okay so uh, first here before solving uh, pr equals to half of pq that's eight over two that's four centimeter all right and the reason for this is perpendicular line perpendicular from center from center bisect the chord okay and now uh, to solve this question you know we have a lot of method a lot of method we have we can solve this from the similarity concept from Pythagorean theorem but uh, similarity concept you might be uh, feeling a little difficult it's easy not that much difficult but I'm gonna do this first by Pythagorean theorem all right that's a little easier to understand easier to understand but little it is uh, lengthier but it's really easy all right see here uh, now I'm gonna show you how many right angle triangles we you have all right so see the total right angle triangles if you see here first right angle triangle we have here P R O all right this is our first right angle triangle all right and next one is T uh, after after this next one is uh, T P R alright this is our next right angle triangle alright and after that the next biggest right angle triangle is T P O alright T P O this is our next right angle triangle right angle at here because we know that always uh, the radius is perpendicular to the tangent okay so uh, in right triangle in right triangle P R O see because we see the, the reason why I'm doing this is I know this part I know this part so by using Pythagorean theorem I can easily find out uh, OR all right applying Pythagoras theorem all right applying theorem will get PO square equals to PR square plus RO square and PO PO is 5 centimeter 
so it's going to be 25 PR PR is 4 so it's going to be 16 plus RO square so therefore RO square is going to be 25 minus 16 that's going to be 9 so therefore RO equals to 3 centimeter so we get this 3 centimeter right this particular we get 3 centimeter now see here is the concept uh, to find out the TP look at here uh, we have one one uh, right angle triangle this PTR so we can easily find out TP square and from another right angle triangle TPO again we'll get this PT and from there also again we can find out TP square so by solving those two relations, we can easily find out the value of this TP okay so again what I'm going to do uh, I think it will be easy to write here in 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 a right triangle uh, PTR all right PT square hypotenuse square is always uh, the sum of base square and the perpendicular square right always the sum of base square and opposite square so T here 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 PT square is going to be equal with TR square plus uh, PR square all right plus PR square uh, writing this is uh, a little bit difficult let me uh, give some name to this let's say this TP is X all right let's say this is X and TR is Y just this distance is Y so uh, here PT square that's X square and TR square TR square I, I recently write here that's Y square y square and PR square PR is already 4 so 4 square that is 16 okay and again now in the bigger triangle TPO all right in a right triangle TPO this is your hypotenuse this is your base and this is your opposite or you can say I mean these are the smaller parts so uh, I mean the square of the hypotenuse is always the sum of the square of base and the perpendicular all right in some country we say opposite also whatever you say the concept is always same so in TPO uh, TO square is going to be equal with X square plus 5 square that is that is TP square plus PO square it means this is uh, this is Y and this is 3 so this Y plus 3 all right is going to be Y plus 3 whole square equals to TP square keep in mind that TP is here X square and PO square that is here 5 square that is 25 so I'm writing it a little properly so if I write it a little properly it's gonna be X square plus 25 equals to uh, Y square plus uh, 6Y plus 9 okay so here we have two equations equation 1 and equation 2 so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna subtract equation 1 from the equation 2 so x square equals to y square plus 16 okay so if I'll subtract then this 2 will cancel up and I'll be left with 25 equals to this will also cancel up uh, 6y plus 9 minus 16 so it's 6y let me write this side and this uh, 9 minus 16 both will go another side it will be 25 plus 16 minus 9 25 plus 16 41 minus 9 that's 32 so therefore your y is going to be 32 divided by 6 now by 2 times 16 2 times 3 that's going to be 16 over 3 ah great we get this as a 16 over 3 okay this is 16 over 3 now we know this length complete length we know this one also we know this one also so easily we can write x so what is x here you know our x square is y square plus 16 so our y is here 16 over 3 so simply it's going to be further 16 over 3 whole square plus 16 okay and that's 256 over 9 plus 16 further if you go 256 plus 9 times 16 that is 144 divided by 9 6 plus 4 0 carry over 1 5 plus 4 9 1 10 carry over 1 again 2 plus 1 3 and 1 400 divided by 9 uh, okay so what we get x square equals to 400 over 1 so x is equals to under root 400 divided by 9 that's actually 20 over 3 so our x we get as a 20 over 3 that's a uh, no yeah 20 over 3 so that's our dp you know 
that's what we need to find out our length of tp